Good morning everyone, how are you? What a beautiful day to be alive, right? It's a bit cold today, but you know, uh, we're gonna carry on, right? So today, yesterday I did, I explained you like how to make the forehand technique conscious, right? And today we're gonna do the part two, which is nothing else than apply some movement on it, right? Because fortunately or unfortunately, I mean, in my view is fortunately, because I love to run, in tennis we gotta run, yeah? We gotta move all the time. There is no, it cannot be in tennis, two shots that can be done from the same place. It's just impossible. The ball is not gonna come back exactly to the same place. It can come near, yeah? Near where it was the, the previous shot, but never will be on the same place so you always gonna need to adjust a bit your position right so very simple what we're gonna need for this drill exercise very simple obviously your tennis racket you know a cone or if you don't have a cone look uh, an old bottle of water fill it with a bit of water to to make it like a cone and the most important thing you're gonna need today is your imagination okay uh, because I want you to imagine, I want you to imagine the ball, I want you to imagine the different scenarios, different positions. So again, what we did yesterday was like making the forehand technique conscious, okay? So we get in a good ready position, yeah? We stay athletic and then we bring everything to the side and from there swing, yeah? So obviously that is all in a static, yeah, in a static position. But what we gonna add today is making it in a dynamic situation, right? So the drill is very simple. Get a bottle or a cone, if you have a cone even better, place it, you know, can be even at home, you know, if you have a, a big room, uh, just place it where you have enough space to swing the racket and don't break anything, please. And uh, if you have a garden, even better, you know, better, what's better than fresh air. So, what we're gonna do is, okay, we yeah, stay active, get a good ready position, and what I want you to do is get a good split, and then move, and swing, okay? And then recover in front of the cover, again. Okay. Here, stay, big the split, and then, here, yeah, swing, and recover. Always coming back home, okay? The reason I want you to use the imagination now is because I want you to do different uh, kind of uh, stroke with stances, yeah? One, of, you can do the open stance, okay? Recover, then you can do a bit of close stance, stepping in, recover again. You can imagine a really, really, really tough ball which you need to run, step really wide to the string on the outside leg, swing, Recover again, but most important thing again is to focus and make conscious what you gotta do in terms of the mechanics of the shot. Yeah, always, always try to bring a fo a focus on your hips, trunk, shoulder, and arms, lock everything, and bring it to the side, and from there, release. Yeah. So coiling and then coiling. Now, uh, another misconception through my experience of coaching is like a lot of coaches say, no, you need to really bend your knees, bend your knees before the shot. But what I find is, is the opposite. The bending is a, a, like a cascade of an event, right? Because if you, really if you really throw your hips trunks and shoulders and that's and lock everything together you bending so it's like putting pressure on something that you twist what's happening then you bring you making it low so let's say for instance that bottle yeah if you twist it it's going a little bit you know you like uh, squeezing it down so that's what happened with the human body yeah so if you 
really do that automatically you're going a bit low because all the muscles all the ligaments are storing energy so your body wants to make itself small then to explode and release up yeah so don't fall into the trap like no i gotta stay really low and then yeah of course it's good to be low but don't be really 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 don't exaggerate it yeah so stay in a good athletic ready position focus on the mechanic turning and then you're gonna see how automatically you're gonna get low because the body wanna explode up yeah so again try to use your imagination and uh, make it dynamic now okay make it dynamic so again good ready position go uh, recover here split close okay here now twice with semi open okay here and twice swing don't focus also a lot on the stance i mean focus more on the kind of ball you want to hit so you gotta imagine if you wanna you you imagining your opponent hits your really wide ball that you're gonna be with a lot under pressure automatically your stance is gonna be really open yeah so don't worry too much about the stance because what's happening is if you put a lot of attention on your stance guess what you're taking away your attention of the mechanic okay and now what we're gonna put is a lot of attention on the mechanics yeah making it dynamic but still still you're putting a lot of attention on the mechanic and then the, the movement is coming by its own yeah here again so i'm gonna coil white ball and swing and i'm not even thinking if it's open stance or close stance yeah it's coming it, it comes by its own again is a, now i'm gonna i'm gonna imagine i'm gonna get a really short ball stepping in and i'm getting close stance and i'm not even thinking again why so do as many repetitions as you want you can do sets of 30 reps rest for 30 seconds do another set okay but put your attention on the mechanics we're just making it dynamic now that's the only difference um and that's that's pretty much it now you just gotta make it dynamic okay and that's all but again put a lot of attention on the mechanics of the, of the shot because that's the key in tennis okay again don't worry about the swing don't worry about grips yeah just focus on the science focus on the science because that's the most important thing so uh, yeah try to do this as many sets as you want okay as rest as much as you want i mean as much as you want try to have a bit of break with sets and uh, just until you get bored basically when you get bored just stop and do your next task okay so uh after this we're gonna do backhands so i'll try to do a video tomorrow about backhands and i'm gonna go through all shots okay and also i'm gonna do uh, a bit of fitness obviously i think by the end of the week i will try to do a bit of uh, fitness related to tennis and again this is not a footwork session okay don't worry too much about the footwork I'll try to do this going forward if you're really into footwork. Uh, and yeah, take care, guys. Stay safe and don't get out, yeah? See you later.